Champions of Chaos is about to go gold and finally enter the public sphere, and there's a unit coming with the pack that has honestly just perplexed me. I'd say I don't really know what to make of it, but I do, and the reality is that it's both redundant and bad for its price. I'm of course talking about Chosen of Sinesh equipped with Hell Scourges, which are in my opinion anyway, the worst unit in the entire DLC. Not the weakest unit, but definitely the worst in my eyes, and you might be confused by that when you look at their stat line and what they're bringing to the table, but I assure you, this unit has problems, and could really use a rework from the ground up, I think. Now, let me start off by saying I'm not sure enough has been done to differentiate the Mark units in this DLC from each other on the gameplay side. I think the framework for Marks right now is solid and well implemented, but in their current form, it kind of just feels like the weapon profiles themselves are accounting for most of the differences, and that the core elements of Chosen, as a monolith, are remaining true no matter which god they represent, which, while I understand that philosophy, I'd argue that a Sineshi Chosen shouldn't be as heavily armored as a Nurgle 1, they should be substantially faster than a Cornate 1, that the stat profiles between units, even if they're both considered Chosen, could and should be pushed further. They should be differentiated more. It's clearly been taken into account, but I'm not sure it goes quite far enough to distinguish them from each other, and that's most noticeable in all four Mark's Sword and Board variants for each of the gods. Look at their stat profiles, you'll see they're pretty much the same unit, even though the marks are differentiating them ever so slightly. Anyway, that's probably a discussion for another time. The reason I bring that up is because Hellscourges are one of these new weapon profiles, and breaking from convention in the Warhammer series, this is now the only weapon in the trilogy that has zero armor piercing. Zero AP. That's wild. Here's a list of units that have more AP than Hellscourge chosen. Peasants. Grail Reliques, Zombies, Skaven Slaves, Pirate Dickhand Mob. Every other unit in the game has more AP than Slanesh Chosen. That is right, literally dead humans beset by rigor mortis on a toilet seat and rotting zombie fingers have more armor piercing than the elite of Slanesh, wielding barbed metallic whips, the chosen champions of a faction known for their AP. My problem with this unit is threefold. Number one, a 1600 gold elite infantry unit that does zero damage through armor has very little reason to see the battlefield. I'll talk about why in a moment. Number two, it's almost entirely redundant in terms of design, because Chosen of Sinesh with Sword and Shield perform the exact same role and have very similar stats, but actually have an AP component, so they're capable of killing armored enemies. And number three, while the Hellscourge itself is a very cool and thematic weapon choice, the stat line of the Chosen that wield them does not feel very snushy to me at all. They're heavily armored brutes and bruisers, but that doesn't really fit with what we know about Sinesh. So let's take a look at what this unit comes with and what's meant to differentiate it from its competitors. You can clearly see their stat line is fantastic. 65 melee defense, 120 armor, silver shields, immune psychology, strider, 10% physical resistance. This unit is tanky as hell, and they will not tear around, ever. They almost always fight to the end. Combine that with slightly faster move speed, nullification of terrain penalties, even when fighting uphill or in water, which can actually be a pretty big deal, and expert charge defense, they are designed as an anvil unit that will hold the line well in just about any situation. Sounds good, right? Here's what Total War thinks of your tanky infantry. Here, eat this pit of shades. Here, eat this infernal gateway. Let's see if that 65 melee defense, 120 armor, and huge HP will help. Spoiler alert, they do not. Deleted. Evaporated. Disintegrated. Destroyed. A unit designed just to hold that can't kill anything armored has no place in mid to late game and campaign, and don't even get me started on how bad a 1600 gold investment is on an infantry unit like that in multiplayer. We're gonna do a bit of in-depth unit testing in a second here so you can see the issue firsthand, but let's have a quick cackle as they get zero kills against Corn Chosen. Big yikes. Literally zero kills in a full-on engagement with their counterparts that cost the exact same. That was pretty crazy to me when I saw that for the first time. Now, the only thing that potentially saves them on the campaign front is the Azazel tech that gives them plus 8 bonus versus infantry 
and plus one melee attack for every additional rank of veterancy. And don't get me wrong, their stats get absolutely absurd, but as always, it comes back to the fact that you're paying 200 extra gold for a unit that holds a line only slightly better, oftentimes not even noticeably so, but kills much less efficiently. So to illustrate the point, we're going to test them and their sword and board brothers against all kinds of late game threats, both high and low armor, to see how they perform. And in all of these examples, half my hell scourges on the left are going to brace to gauge how effective the charge defense and charge reflection is, and half of them are going to counter charge for that additional DPS with their charge bonus. And, and this first fight versus Nurgle Chaos Warrior Great Weapons was pretty crazy to watch. It takes almost five full minutes for these units to kill each other. On average, against armor-piercing troops, bracing hell scourges had about a thousand HP more than those who countercharged. So if your only desire is to hold the line and you don't care about killing power at all, because presumably you're using seekers or heart seekers to hammer an anvil and that's where your killing power will come from. If your only desire is just to hold the line there, then bracing is definitely worth it, especially once your opponent gets past the 25 charge bonus range. Here in this example, not a horrendous showing by any means. They actually handle business just fine, albeit quite slowly. Five minute engagement is, I can't think of too many units that would have an engagement that long. Maybe Ironbreakers and Sinesh Hellscourges would have a similar time to kill with each other. But besides that, usually combat resolution is much faster in Warhammer 3. So let's try Chosen Sword and Board. Ultimately, they end up with about 1200 less health than the Hellscourges but managed to route the enemy in three minutes as opposed to five. Interesting, not a whole lot to draw from there. Let's check out some other tests. And this one was hilarious. Same methodology, clearly not a unit you would want them to fight if you can avoid it in Corn Chosen. They have 130 armor and the whips have zero AP. Definitely not an ideal scenario here, but they cost the same. They're both chosen of the Dark Gods. This is the kind of late game threat they will have to contend with. And as we watch, it takes about three minutes for the Hellscourge Chosen to rout. And how many kills did they get total across six whole engagements? Six whole units? Two. The Corn Chosen lost two models. The Hellscourge Chosen got two kills. I knew it was going to be bad. I had no idea it was going to be that comically lopsided. So for comparison's sake, regular Slanesh Chosen in the same scenario with their 14 AP, they'll lose a bit faster but kill between 15 and 25 models each. Again, only slightly inferior holding power, much better killing power. So then we tried Questing Knights, and what we discovered here is that Bracing does make an impact in terms of survivability. So if you know a charge is coming, and you just want them to survive, then Bracing is the correct call, but you are losing out on a decent amount of killing power. Their already slow time to kill gets even slower if they don't counter charge. It was a minute 10 time to kill for countercharging, and more than two minutes when bracing, for a difference in HP of about 1500. So by bracing, you're saving about 14% HP, but taking at least 50% longer to kill, depending on the unit you're fighting, and that can be a big difference. Expert charge defense appears to be working just fine, but charge reflection made almost zero noticeable impact on any of these fights whatsoever, even against high charge units. Charge reflection, just doesn't really do anything. It feels like a useless trait in all of my testing. Same test for regular Chosen here now. Pretty much same result. Slightly less HP at the end. Slightly faster time to kill. Does it feel to you so far like Hell Scourges are doing something unique here? That they have their own niche and interesting design? I'd argue no. In fact, the only time I found they perform noticeably better than regular Sword and Board Chosen was when facing high charge bonus, very low armor elite infantry like blade singers and that's only when bracing they performed significantly better that's about as tiny and niche as i can possibly think of for an elite unit in this one hyper specific scenario you will see marginal improvement with hell scourges over literally anything else cool so here's the deal hell scourge chosen will do what you want them to do in terms of holding a line but you're paying an exorbitant price for very marginal benefit over other options. And as soon as you hit mid and late game and your opponent fields armor, which is when these bad boys will start rolling out anyway, mid to late game, they're not an early game unit, they're a straight downgrade in plenty of situations because they have zero AP. They literally cannot kill armor 
They got one kill on Corn Chosen. One kill! In multiplayer, they're going to get deleted by Stationary Vortexes while having done very little killing before the spell hits. And your army selections will be severely hampered by spending 1600 gold on a unit that can only kill lightly armored chaff. Ultimately, Hell Scourges in their current form are a weirdly designed troop choice that doesn't really fit with what we know about Sinesh and their armies. In 95% of circumstances, I would rather just have regular Sinesh chosen. And I think a lot more needs to be done to differentiate them from each other moving forward, because in their current form, they're just redundant and pointless as things stand. And while I can appreciate they wanted to create this awesome anvil unit that can just hold the line, and it is something they do relatively well at holding, it just ain't working for me overall. The unit has zero killing power. Why would you want to invest that much in a unit that can't kill anything? Hope you guys enjoyed. See you all in the next video.